All right, so we're almost done. This is gonna be a quick one. Um, if you did the uh, answers in your own words, it should be quite quick. What we wanna do now is, um, if you haven't put in citations for all of your answers yet, please make sure that you go ahead and do that. So if you haven't put in citations yet, put that in please. Every single answer needs to have a citation and I need to know where it comes from, okay? All right, now, before we're going to go and put these in the correct place, we need to first double check and that they are indeed in your own words and that there is no plagiarism found. Now, this step is not compulsory uh, if your teacher doesn't demand it, but um, for my students, this is how I check plagiarism. I actually go and copy and paste the whole answer column. Copy, and I take it, um, and I go and paste it in a plagiarism checker, a free plagiarism checker online, like Dupli Checker or plagiarismdetector.net. Either one of these, you can go and paste it. Um, you're kind of looking of a, or for around about 500 to 800 words or so once you've done all your answers. And then you can just say, check plagiarism. Then what that does is it goes and finds places where you might have used the sentence too exactly, um, and it gives you a plagiarism count, okay? So it detects the plagiarism for you, and a good indication, I think most universities um, require 90% unique, okay? So you need to work at it. Um, once you see that it's not 90% um, unique, you need to go and fix a few things, rewrite some of the answers, um, you'll see, I think it's especially um, dupli checker, I think. It depends which ones you use. But mostly they, they do show you where the plagiarism is. They actually, yeah, so this one, obviously, obviously because I found it from, because I used Microsoft text, um, it's going to have lots of plagiarism. We'll see now. So it shows you in red, dupli checker, it shows you which sections um, are plagiarized. Okay. So those are the sections you need to rewrite um, and then you need to try again. Now, I know it says here, make it unique. You are more than welcome to try this. This is a um, tool that helps you rewrite text. Um, but yeah, my students have tried this before and it takes so long to fix what this pushes out that it's actually not worth it. Just rewrite it yourself. Okay, so you're gonna go through this a few times until you get it to be 90% unique at least, okay? And then once it's 90% unique, then you can continue. So what you're going to do then is we're going to copy the correct um, content under the correct heading. So what might help now is to switch on your navigation pane so that you can e easily jump back and forth between the um, headings over here under discussion and analysis and your question and answers table. Please make sure that the categories that you have here are all listed under discussion and analysis. So if you have four categories here, then you need to go and add an extra heading over here. All right, so now we're gonna copy these. Now it depends, it's up to you how you want to copy it, but I've found the easiest way is to try to select the whole cell. You'll see it brings this little black arrow for you, okay? Then you can copy it, and when you go up to problem, because we know now this is about the problem, you can go and paste it. But if you right click, you can actually choose cell contents. Right. Just make sure once you've pasted it, that it's still a citation that's a field because there's actually a mark for this. So now you're just going to go back and forth and copy all the 10 questions into the right heading and make sure that it is still citation, that's still a field, and that the text itself is just a normal font, okay, normal style. You can go ahead and do that. Right, lastly, what I would do so long just for your own sake is remove these extra enters, uh, extra paragraph marks that doesn't contain anything because you're gonna lose a mark if you leave them there. 
And then lastly, let's put in our bibliography so long because we've got our citations and we've got our sources and let's do our bibliography. Now, if you insert your bibliography, please note that if you use one of these at the top, it's going to insert the heading as well. And we've already inserted a heading, so that's not necessary. You can just use the insert bibliography um, option over here, and then we've got our bibliography already generated for us. So what we've done up to now is we've double checked that all the summaries are in our own words. We've also, for phase three, checked that all the sources are clearly and appropriately acknowledged because we've put in citations, they are co added correctly, and because you've got three sources, you should now have a minimum of three citations. And we also have an automatic reference list or a bibliography that's correctly been added. Okay. These ones, we're probably almost ready to give this this mark, but we can't be 100% sure until we've actually done phase three. So I think that's it for now, but we're almost done with phase one. We just have four more marks left and then we're finished.